Hello. You've caught me in the middle of some knitting, it would seem. Just put that aside for now. Um, Spork here, and uh, today I've got a project I wanted to share. It's building a waveform visualizer. Um, basically, just turning a CRTV into a uh, CRT TV into a uh, um, visualizer of sorts. So, um, Let's go to the kitchen table and go go one. So, visualizers. What you're going to need to start with is a television. Just... There we go. Television. Usually, tube TVs seem to be the best ones, so I have one of these. I've had this for a while. It's basic, turns on off, small controls, etc. But what I'm planning on doing is to turn it into a waveform visualizer or silicographic visualizer. So did this sketches earlier. Basically what we have now, not perfectly to scale, but what we want to do is turn it into this. Now I know it says copper panel, um, I'm broke, so no copper panel, I've got something else planned for that. Uh, basically, it's a very badly drawn schematic, but what we're going to do, everything inside here is going to remain the same, except we're going to cut the uh, deflector coils, I'll show you those once it's opened up. What we're going to do is replace them, well we're going to run the deflection coils into the outs on two of these amplifiers. I could try just running one, but um, I don't know, so I'm just going to run two and just use one channel. And into the those I'm going to run some quarter inch jacks so we can plug this into stuff and hopefully see funny pictures on the screen. So, um, let's try opening this up. So, if you're going to do this, uh, what you'll want to do is um, get a screwdriver. For safety sake, get a screwdriver. You attach a little, um, essentially grounding wire, just a little piece of cable with a crocodile clip on it. Attach it to the ground, which I believe is this here, or over here. Then because uh, down here you'll see the flyback transformer. These are not fun. Uh, this is where the high voltage that runs the CRT comes from. Uh, at least that's my understanding. And underneath this, oh la. And underneath this suction cup is um, where it goes into the CRT. And um, long story short, don't touch it because that could severely well uh, kill you. Uh, so you want to ground it. I haven't used this in a while, and um, yeah, should be safe. But also, I don't have a grounding cable, so I'm just not going to touch any of this. Because I, I shouldn't be. The only things I should be really touching is I believe this is the uh, deflection coil here. And I think these are the four cables I need to modify. And then I'll be removing this because I don't need it. It's just in the way and that's why I'm putting the amplifiers and the um, and the uh, quarter inch jacks. So, 
So we're going to cut these cables because uh, those went to the deflection coil. Then I'll show you something. Because um, we need to figure out which is uh, horizontal, which is vertical. Now there's two ways to do that. One, literally cut the cables, see what the television does. Two, use a multimeter and continuity to find which two are connected and um, then pair them off, run them into amplifiers and etc. Um, so yeah, let's, let's give that a go. Got a multimeter and it should beep for continuity. There we go. And apparently I'm dropping it all over the place. But just multimeter, put that there. I'm going to carefully try not to kill myself. Just do. But yeah, there's no other cable. Cut. Cut. Okay. So now the continuity should make sense and not drive me up the ruddy wall. Okay, red and blue. What? Okay, red and blue. Yellow and orange, see? Make sense? No? Oh well. Okay. Everyone happy? Everyone good? Yes? And on we go. Um, what we also have to do somewhere in here. Need to find a way to safely not electrocute myself, and there we go. Okay, so what's that doing? What's that doing? That's the power switch. Do I play around with that? I just basically need to cut all those cables. Will this work? No, I don't want to. Can you stuff the all that allow electricity to get to me? Disconnected this, used to be right there, I'm not going to need it, so i just put it back in here. Now, taking a few screws out, and there's one last screw right at the end. I don't want to jam my hands in a bunch of wires that I'm not sure if I'll be fine or not, so i got a slightly longer screwdriver just to reach right in there. Is it looking tedious yet? I wonder if my downstairs neighbours are going to complain. Lord knows I've heard them laughing so far. Disconnected these two bits. Now I'm going to screw this back in place. Then measure the front of it and... Um, yeah, measure for the panel. So this won't come out, no matter what I do, so I'm not going to worry about it, I'm just going to cut out, make this empty, basically clear out the this section, just for space and such, uh, and then um,
put the saw in the new position. So I'm going to start cutting down again. I think I'm on some thick plastic. Let's see what the other side holds. It holds nothing. Okay, good. Great. This is fine. This is what happens when you only have one coping saw blade. Always make sure you have multiple blades. That's left us with a nice hole. Um, we don't really need to do too much to the edges. Maybe a little bit of filing just to clean up some of the plastic because this is going to be covered uh, with a metal sheet. Um, clean that off. Uh, so now I have to measure this and cut the metal, I guess. Just need to find some metal to cut. Hang on, got an idea. One thing I want to do before I do go too much further is make sure that I haven't completely broken this. I've removed a few components, I've cut some wires, so now that I've cut the wires to the, defle to the deflection coils, all we should see on here when I turn this on is a single dot. That's the brightness control. Okay, so that's the volume, so I'll take that out because we don't need that right now, but if I bring up the brightness, we have a single dot in the middle of the screen, which is exactly what we want right now. More scraping noises! Right, um... I'm a goof and I completely forgot uh, which cables were connected. Oh well, it's easy enough to find out again. Now comes the fun bit. Where we bring in these things. Now, these you may notice, or if I put show them to the camera, they're going to focus, they're not going to focus, but basically right here it's got VCC and ground. These are um, active amplifiers, so they need power. Uh, which brings in the question of how do you power something? These run on 0 0.5, I think, or 0 0.3 or 3 uh, volts or something. I can't remember. I, these were cheap on Amazon, so that's why I got these. Uh, they run all the way up to 12 volts. Now, I have a lot of 12 volt barrel jack adapters lying around my house because I have a hoarding problem, apparently. So what I've done is using a hacksaw, I cut it open. So what I'm going to end up doing, at least the plan, is to cut these wires, solder them on to the main power, so I have this nice little uh, power block, nice little power block being powered, but just by plugging in the TV. So um, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so. What I've done is um, detached the live and neutral connectors for the 12 volt converter from the wall socket, so that's now garbage. What I've also done is I've stripped the ends of the 12 volt supply, both positive and ground. 
I've cut two more lengths of wire from the same cable and I've also trimmed the connectors, hooked up the quarter inch to the inputs and I've got this ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder this directly to the uh, power supply underneath the board so I can then just hot glue it over here. Then I'm going to run the power cables. I'm going to solder the power cables together so the black extension here and etc. Then put them in, one of them, then run the extension cords to the other. So um, yeah, that'll be fun. Tin the ends of those, wire those together, put that in there. Now I'm going to attach this to the, um, attach this to there. And hopefully that goes. If you know there's a cable, it's because my phone keeps dying. Because uh, the battery's terrible. So, um, yeah, we're going to see how this works. Now that all that's soldered together and such, I'm going to solder some extensions onto these and then wire them into the amplifiers. Then we can test if this has all been for a successful project or if I've just wasted about several hours of my life. Let's find out together, shall we? Okay, so, got all those extensions wired, ran the cables to what should be the correct places. Now, I'm going to have to set up my laptop so we can run something into the amplifiers. Actually, before, before I plug that in, I should do the old uh, blue smoke test, shouldn't I? No smoke, that's good. What if I turn it on the TV? There was something, but okay, that may have, that was just the, okay, so, got, I'm not sure we can see that, I've got a little speck, okay, now can I do this, well it's 12 volts, so it shouldn't really be bad if I get a zap from 12 volts, so let's plug you in there, you in there, uh, master, let's turn you up, Seems like it's wanting to do something. Okay. Oh. We have something. Hey. Let's change that to full. If I can any fine tuning out of this. Okay, this is promising. Let's do this. Let's turn up the brightness. Hey, hey! We have something. I'm going to turn this off, pull out the plug, and uh, we're going to make a panel. I'm really pleased this is actually bloody working. Now, we get to start gluing with some hot glue and stuff, and uh, yeah, how much damage could we possibly cause with hot glue? <laughs> 
So other than the obvious uh, puking out of gubbins, this is working quite well, I think. Oh, did I break something? No, good, on we go. Right. Now comes the fun bit. Because, yeah, should all be good. Got the dot. Let's test this stuff. So I've got... Pull the cable back out, should be working now, so if I run, this is the X I figured out, so that should be there, this is the Y, well, Y, it's a little hectic, but we can get, oh, quiet you. We can get interesting images on the screen. Just like so. And it's still working. So all we gotta do now is build a panel. And I think it's safe to say that we are done. Testing time. Um, I've turned it on. It's working fine. No shorting when I touch it. No issues. Everything's plugged in. So I'm gonna start by playing 440 hertz sine wave, so I play. I won't be able to hear it because I'm running it through my computer into an interface, out of the interface into a snake, snake into that. I know it's overcomplicated. I don't know where just two mono quarter inch jacks are. Um, and my laptop doesn't have any quarter inch jacks built in, so I'm using an interface, whatever. So with these two at the negative, I can they're stuck there. If I can increase, I can tilt it as well. I know this isn't perfect, it's not working overly well. Um, but I mean, it's working, what I've done, I've added amplifiers into, uh, into the circuit. So the signal I send in is being amplified and sent to the deflection coils. But I've built one of these before, and where it just had a single, so it just went left and right and such. But I'm happy this is working. I'm, I, I like this. So I'm going to stop the sine wave. So if I just hit stop, voila. Now I'm going to test with some music. Um, let's see. This is Voices from the YouTube audio library. And this is really the main use of it for me. It's just a visualizer. It just makes noise. You can play around with the settings and just get it so it fills the screen. And you can even increase the brightness so it's just this massive movement. Not very practical, I know, but I built this to look it weird more so than anything. Um, but I'm pleased this is happening. Um, so yeah, this, this, this seems to be a thing, um, yeah, so I can even just have it do one way, so I even have it just look like that, just creates interesting visuals, you know? So, that seemed to work. This now, which will be fun to play with. Um, kept it plugged in, keeping it plugged in, it doesn't seem to overheat, uh, but maybe when I have more time and money, I can look into adding um, an extra switch or even change out the main switch. Maybe even, if I'm bored, try and route the audio into the built in speaker or something. Um, future projects, definitely, uh, maybe, if I get bored, uh, but no, I'm pleased with this, ish, I mean, it visualizes things, it looks funny, it makes interesting images, which is, uh, why I want to build it.
So um, if you like this, like, tell me what you liked, what I shouldn't do, how much of a, a pillock I am, you know the usual stuff. Um, uh, if you want to, uh, stick around, I'll probably have something else showing up in the next year, because God knows I have such a bad schedule. Um, but yeah, I'll try and uh, come up with another project, but nothing too um, uh, soon. I've got to save up for parts, because you know what is out there, and uh, finances. But basically, um, I'll try and figure out another project at some point. Uh, see if I can have some fun with something, and then once I figure out if I'm going to do something, I'll make another video. Um, in the meantime, though, stay safe, stay awesome, have a cup of tea or whatever, and uh, I'm going to go back to my knitting. So, uh, take care. What are you still doing here?